Wow. We're going to be talking about our 25 most memorable moments here on our 25th anniversary of SOHH.com, a.k.a. So.com, a.k.a. Support Online Hip Hop, a.k.a. Everything Else People Think It Is. School of Hip Hop. Yeah. All sorts of things. Source of Hip Hop. I've heard State of Hip Hop. State of Hip Hop, yeah. But then, you know, we also know that people just call us so, and that's what we call ourselves. So yeah, 25 years later, here we are. And uh, the idea came about, I forgot. Um, uh, you talking about the original idea for so? No, 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 idea for doing these 25 moments. I mean, we've been- Well, we've been starting since, we've been doing internet websites since 1995. Yeah, 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 you know. And it's just like, it just seems so apropos, like with so much that we've seen and we've been through, um, you know, we want to just kind of, let's just get to know folks, let people get to know us a bit. Uh, we've kind of been in the back, so let's uh, let's talk. What's your name? My name is Felicia Palmer, of course, co-founder mm-hmm. of SOHH. Right. And I'm Stephen Samuel, um, CTO of So.com, as well as the um, co-founder as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not going to argue about who started or who actually came up with SOHH. We're going to start off with 4 Control Music Wire. Okay, 4 Control Music Wire, yeah. So, the way we started off actually was a print publication. Yeah, of course. And uh, we started with a guy named Powell out of Brooklyn. And he was the designer. And we wanted to make a... At the time, the internet was getting was getting popular. At that time, I was on AOL. It wasn't... Well, it was getting popular, but more so... Um, it really wasn't getting popular. That was the problem. The problem was that there was the AOL disc, right? right? And people were getting their AOL disc. Remember the disc you had eight hours and you saw one of those joints for like 20 hours. You're like, oh, shoot, I got 20 hours of dial-up. Right. Um, but really, I think, you know, it just was kind of natural for us. You know, when I had met you, you were one of the few people, the only people I knew that had a computer in their house. Like, nobody had a computer. Right. And then you had the nerve to have a laptop. And uh, that was because your dad, you know, had um, uh, always kind of been into the computer stuff. And then just coming up in the Bronx, you know, we just, hip hop was what we knew. It was our culture. It was our lifestyle. It was so, it was sort of like, of course. Right. And at that time, I was also a rapper. You know I mean? That's right. Trouble Neck Brothers. Shout out to the Trouble Neck Brothers. So it was just natural for us to do hip hop as our first um, venture. Right. Well, it wasn't really a venture, though. No, it wasn't. I mean, it was just like, oh, my God, you look at these kids on AOL. They're, like, typing battle raps, and they're battle rapping on on these chat rooms. Right. And, like, the idea, which I will probably take credit for, as usual. But I think that if we were to kind of encapsulate what we want to talk about, I, I, I think that the key is for people to get, like, how early this was. Because, you know, my one of my earliest memories, and I always share this with people, is when we would go to people, and this was over the course of, of several years of kind of grinding in this space, and we can talk a little bit about what that was like, but, you know, we would go to record labels, mm-hmm. and, you know, we would like, listen, you know, there's this thing called the, you know, the internet, and we want to help promote your artists on the internet, like, we can, like, you can, like, promote it, and you can tell the people about it through the internet, and... I think the most, the craziest thing is I remember a conversation with one record exec and he just looked at us and he was like, well, what's the internet? Right. Like at that time, nobody even had email addresses. Right. There was no email addresses. There was no internet. The record labels had not even... There was not even mp3.com in the context of like the record labels getting into this big fight. There was no Napster. It was just just AOL and some kids chatting in a chat room right. and us being from the Bronx and you former rapper and me just kind of like right. loving the culture and saying, you know, let's just create something. So that was, I, I think that that was probably, a, if, if that was a, a telling moment, it was just like, what's the internet? Like right. no one even knew what it was. Right. I think, um... At that point, Relativity, I think they were the first. They were the first ones to cut us a check. That was Sony, right? Sony Relativity. 
Yeah. Could have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then EMI. EMI. I can't remember the guy's name, but he hooked us up with Heather B. And we did a, we did a quote unquote cyber chat. That was when cyber was a word. Cyber. Yeah. Um, Heather, he gave, um, he, he did, we did a chat with Heather B. On AOL. Yeah, because that's all there was. It was right. AOL. And we met her in Brooklyn, and we did. The, and, and, and she came to this um this place called the Coco Bar, and it was an internet cafe. So back in the days, if you remember, there was internet cafe. Yeah. So that you can get high speed internet. Yeah. There was no internet. People ain't have internet in their home. Online. Right. So AOL. So we fast forward into the whole thing or whatever, and then we did the Coco Bar chat with Heather B. Heather and B. then we also, you know, some of the other artists back then. Uh, we had worked with Keith Murray. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Theola. Um, Shout out to Theola. And um, she took it serious. You know, a few people didn't take it serious. Yeah, I mean, look, bottom line is, you know, we were way ahead of our time. I mean, it was a lot of work, you know, and just trying to legitimize the space. And then it became, okay, well, we, 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 you know, this whole thing about the digital divide, you know, before it was really a concept, it was sort of like we knew that the black people we were meeting and that we were talking to had no idea. Right. You know, and we felt, you know what, if there's one thing we can get the black people we know, uh, get them interested into the internet, it would be hip hop. Mm-hmm. So it really became this kind of, how do we translate hip hop uh, for these people? And that was where the print magazine came from that you mentioned earlier. Right. So we did two issues of that and that was like costing us a brick. Was it like $500? Yeah, and it wasn't even that many Like a hundred copies for $500. That was not a good business yeah, uh, so. strategy. But we weren't doing it for business. We just were really doing it but we were trying to do advertising and yeah, such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you really look back, I mean, the source had that had that lane on lock. Yeah. You know, it was like, I mean, you had a few other magazines in that space, but it was like, well, we you're starting from scratch. Well, um, it just it just really made more sense after a while because of the cost of creating a magazine, and then also just the fact that we're talking about the internet, so we should be just be on the internet. Right. And and it became a, a question. It became not translating the people we knew to the internet, but really helping to build the internet community, um, the hip hop community on the internet. Right. So like who else is out there? So that's kind of where the support online hip hop came from. Right. And at that time, there were only a handful of websites. I mean, really a handful. That you could go to. Shout right? out to David E's Hip Hop Corner. Fresh Finesse. Shout out to Fresh Finesse. On um, Internet yeah. Ghetto Blaster. Internet Ghetto Blaster. Um, there was, there was, there was, I mean, yeah, it was, it was, it was a few. Yeah, um, just, oh, but it really was a handful. You know, Internet Crew Universal, ICU. ICU, but they weren't, were they from, no, I don't think they were like in the early, early, early period. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. They were early, they were like, like. Well, they were early, but we're talking about right now about 95, 96, 97. No, they had a little presence. Okay, was, okay, so good. ICU, so yeah. Yeah, so, the so it, Yeah, so it was really, um, okay, how do we get this community together? And we had seen um, this, uh, the free speech online, it was a big issue with internet censorship, censorship, that was the issue of the day. Right. Uh, and uh, it was sort of like, how do we keep the internet for free speech? And there was this, what they had a blue ribbon the campaign. Blue and if you if you believed in free speech online, you stick this blue ribbon on your website. So we kind of came up with the idea that, um, you know, why don't we do something like it, you know, bring the hip hop community together. Like, let's ask them to put this logo, right. you know, uh, support online hip hop on the bottom of their websites. And there weren't that many websites. I think, you know, like we said, it were a handful. Right. But over the course of, of time. But if you remember that, so the logo was the binary MC. Yeah. With the zeros and the ones and it said support online hip hop in the circle. Yes. And I think, I mean, I would pay money if somebody could find me the rotating circle. Oh my god. That, it was like a world. Yes. It was the it was the what animated gif. Animated gif. I'll pay, the animated I'll pay gif. Money for that. Somebody's got it. I know. Oh my god. So what we did was we mm-hmm. set up a search engine mm-hmm. on our own. Because we well at that time it was no Google. It was right. Yahoo. Right. But the problem was that what? Yahoo wasn't they indexed. Weren't, they weren't they they first of all they didn't they didn't believe they was the whole idea that black people First of all, black people in hip hop are, are synonymous in the sense that people think at that time it was it was a black culture. We all know hip hop is world culture now, but it was sort of like, well, can there's I no. Ask, can huh? I interject? Yeah. It's funny how we discount black people in technology because we're we, we are we are what makes. We, we make things cool. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? So even though we're not on computers, 
We were not on. We computers. were not on. Com- even though we didn't have computers in our household, right? Right. There was really no reason for us to have computers in our household, right? Because if you're not doing like at the time, was, nobody had computers in their household. Right. Computers were not a thing. But period. guess what? People did have. They had Nintendos. Yeah. They had PlayStation. Yeah. They had early Xboxes. Mm-hmm. They had all that stuff. They had Dreamcast. Whatever was out, they had it. Right. So it's not like we didn't have the money for it, or right. we didn't. You know, it just really hadn't. That's what we were creating, though. That's right. what, that. That's what I think we were creating that demand because it really was. Well, what's on the internet for me? Right. You know, and that's what we were like, listen, like hip hop, hip hop's on the internet. Like you could go and you could like battle at that time. A big thing was you could battle other people. I don't know what else is there to do. I mean, we talked about people have fan sites. People have fan sites. Shout out to um, hieroglyphics.com. That was the first fan site that I saw become um, official. Well, yeah. You what know. was that, Yami? Um, Stinky. Stinky Yami. Uh, yeah, so yeah. He, he had created a site for the hieroglyphics mm-hmm. out of out of his love for the group. Mm-hmm. And then and they, they came they... across it. And yeah. now, you know, I don't know what happened or transpired, but... It's still up, right? Hieroglyphics.com? Yeah, but yeah. Stinky's not there anymore. Okay. You know, I mean, he left years ago. But, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, there really wasn't a lot, you know, for, for, the, you know, for people to want to be on the internet right. at that time. And it, and it made sense, but that was what we were creating. So we did the support online hip-hop, and Support Online Hip Hop was a search engine. It was right. our version of Yahoo Search. Right. And how did you get in Support Online Hip Hop? The same way you got in Yahoo back then. You actually had to submit your site. Right, but you also had to put the logo on your site. So right. we would go through, and once we saw that you had the, so, so the, the Support Online Hip Hop logo on your site, we would then index we would, you. We would index you. Yeah. And we would put you under like, you know, fan site or, you know, whatever category you had. we could find that original site, man. That's crazy. That was Pearl. We were we were rocking on Pearl script. Yeah, that was, you, 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 uh, you programmed that yourself. Nah, I think I, I might have purchased that. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pearl, well, was, Pearl was not my thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we had that, um, and then we started to get people... How do you think that it wound up that we were able to build that momentum? Like, it was really a lot of like, because I mean, you're talking about people all over the world, all over the country. We had not met these people in person. Right. You know, how were we making that connection? I mean, you gotta remember a lot of stuff. I think it just snowballed. It just snowballed. It was, and that was the whole you know, idea. It was the viral element. It was viral before it was viral right. because it was sort of like, you know, people would see this icon, this support online hip hop logo, and they would click on it and it would direct them to our site, the, in, the directory, the, right. the search engine. And then um, they would say, well, I've got a site and put it on and submit their site. So it just really grew. And, you know, we kind of, Brought the the hip hop community, the online hip hop community together. Right. With that, you know, we had. To do, I think we might have had radio. Like, who was if you if you had a, a site that was dealing with music or radio yeah. in some capacity, we would index you and people would just come. Yeah. You yeah. know, and and after that, we started the forums. Yeah. The then we Soda created the forums. forums. Right. 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 And that was probably around um, ninety five. No, ninety six. About ninety six. Mm-hmm. And I remember when we transferred from the forums to news. Mm-hmm. So that was done when Tupac Shakur um, was shot. Mm-hmm. And I remember being up that night and seeing it and I made a post. Well, seeing what though? Seeing that he had gotten shot. Seeing it where? Because I thought, I mean, it was still great. Oh, on the news. The news. Like, okay. the news. And then, yeah, I think you had said something that like you heard her Angie Martinez on the radio talking about it too. Or was that, that was Vicky. Oh, that was Vicky. Okay. Wrong era, yeah. wrong era. Go ahead. Yeah, that's a year so, later. Tupac, you saw it on the news. Right. Tupac saw it on the news and there was really no outlets for people to go and talk about it. I mean, now, right. you, go, now you go to Instagram, you go to Twitter, but back then, where do you go? Right. So right. I did like, I wouldn't say a story, but I just said, you know, Tupac should cross me, you know, shot. Posted that to the forum. Forums. Be Bulletin. Nope. It um, wasn't even Be Bulletin then? No, it was Ultimate Bulletin Board. UBB! Yes, oh, yeah. UBB. Y'all know. If you know, you know. If you don't yeah. know. Ultimate Bulletin Board. Yeah. And from there... A lot of people started to reply. Yeah, yeah. And that was that's what built that was the, the forum. beginning of the forum, and that was you know. But that, that was... also was the beginning of the news. Because right. then this guy Q from Colorado calls me up. Well, right. he doesn't call me. He friends me. 
school. Friend you. Well, There's no friending. No, you got an ultimate bulletin board. You oh, and a, you got to help Friday people out because you're talking right. about social media now. You're right. talking about friends. This is before social media. As Nas says, no idea is original. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right, we, right. we were doing DMs. Nas ain't, Nas, ain't, Nas, ain't, Nas ain't the first person to say that. Yeah. Still holding on, huh? I don't have no problem with Nas no more. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Go ahead. He told, he's like, you know, I think you guys should do daily hip hop news. And I'm like, um, I don't think there's enough news to do every well, day. Well, there wasn't hip-hop. because, it, you know, you think about now where people are posting stuff up about their lives. It was like the only way you got news about rappers was you waited for the source, mm-hmm. you know, um, to come out. Um, you waited for them to be on the radio. Right. And that news was, and so when you got the source, you have to keep in mind that news is three months old. That's right. It took about three months to publish a magazine. That's right. You know? That's right. So Q's whole thing was that he felt, he strongly believed that there was news to cover every day in hip hop. Right. Which is crazy because right. it's like, how do we even get information about what was happening again? Our only sources of media were, of course, we did have television, but hip hop wasn't, didn't have a television right. uh, presence. We had, um, you know, we had the radio, which was probably, you know, local and, you that know, you had to keep up. Way. Yeah. And then, of course, the magazines. So the idea that somehow, and then it was like, what I remember thinking, you know, what is so interesting about rappers' lives or rappers and rap in general? It wasn't even about rappers' lives because we didn't have, like, right now, they, they give you so much exposure to their lives. And really, you only heard about your favorite artists when they were putting out a record. Right. You know, so what was so interesting about them that we would actually have something to talk about. Right. But Q said that he could send me an article every single day. Mm-hmm. So before I looked into finding a way to publish news every day, I just said, yo, why don't you just email me the story? And he did it for about two weeks straight. And that's mm-hmm. when I realized maybe he's on to something. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. So at that time, it was like the forums. And then we had like, what, maybe... Two stories. Yeah, like two stories a day. Right, right, right. And nobody else. I mean, we essentially were, the, there was no other hip hop news. That that was it. It was, that was really how it was created in terms of hip hop daily news. I mean, again, if you think about the other media, that's blowing my mind right now because, like, if you think about the other media, there was no daily, okay, it was radio. Right. But it even was radio. radio was behind to some degree. Right. You know, there was no central place, that, like AP. Reuters wasn't None of those people. Well, they were around, but they, they weren't were covering hip hop. Right. Nobody was covering hip hop. It was, it was like it was very, very specific. It was like you only covered hip hop if you were the source. You did not hear hear about hip hop artists in People or in any of the other magazines that were out there, newspapers. Nobody covered it. Right. Shout out to the source, right? Because that's what that's what we had, you know. Right. Um. And so, then I remember in the forums at some point. I think it was the summertime. Mm-hmm. Um, we had decided um, the, the members in the forum decided to meet offline. They wanted to meet, you know. In a, in now, what year are we at right now? Because I know we started is, around ninety four, ninety five, ninety six. This uh-huh. is right after Pac was um, killed or whatever, uh-huh. Uh-huh. or maybe it might be even spring of ninety seven. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, there were um, some some rappers in the forum that wanted to meet and do some ciphers and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, all right, that's cool. Let's go meet. You know, we've never seen most of these people face to face. Yeah. So we meet in Washington Square Park in New York. In New York, and um, I remember I remember them flagging me, you know, waving me like, "Yo, we over here." I'm like, "All right." I walk over, and he's like, "Yo, you Steve from So." And I think that's when So was officially born because I had never called it So. I've always called it Support Online Hip Hop. Right, right. Or SOHH. SOHH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody that I meet. Was, was I there? Yeah, you were there. I don't remember it at all. A lot of them don't remember. Thank right. you. So this is, all of this is also Stephen uh, helping me to jog my memory. He's the memory keeper right. of, uh, of the unit. Okay. So I think the guy. I can't even remember the guy's name. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, um, we just decided to call it So. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was better than people calling it Soho. It's been called Soho. It's been called <laughs> School of Hard Knocks, which was actually a clothing S- brand. And actually, it had the graffiti, S-O-H-K. S-O-H-K. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. and had his yeah. graffiti logo. They might have had that, yeah. Yeah, they did. Right. So, you know, people were always getting us confused mm-hmm. or whatever. Our site compared to other sites, you know, it just it just had its own look. Well, we were also, at that time, we were the center of, of the community. Because right. that was, we, you know, with the search engine, it was really the place where everybody would check in. Right. Uh, and, and it was, you know, you actually reminded me earlier about the the Microsoft uh, conversation, like the that impact was, of that. That's that, a whole nother chapter. That was 95. <laughs> that was 95. That was 95. After we That's had done. That's so crazy. So after we had done the Green Ribbon campaign. The, yep. Where we, again, just to remind everybody, that was the put the support online hip hop logo on your site to show your support and then we index you in the search engine. Right. He was fascinated by how many websites he at that time they were looking for a hip hop website to align themselves or African American. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They were trying oh. to tap into African American culture because again, the narrative around the internet was that there was a digital divide. Black people were not getting on the internet. So the whole kind of movement towards companies uh, looking to capture that audience. Microsoft was at that time the the top. There was no Google. Right. There was it was Microsoft and it was AOL and maybe a couple. Of, I don't even remember who else. But Net uh, Netscape. Netscape was a browser. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like all of the key companies, that's what was there. There was right. there was these. So if Microsoft Microsoft reached out to us, it was like, oh shoot. Right. That was that was big. Right. And he had wanted to do what? He wanted us to run it. He wanted us to run like some kind of um, I guess their urban or their black line or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And um. I mean, I think this was just an idea in his head. Yeah, well, it finally, it did it did evolve into MSBET. Right. That's where the deal between Microsoft and BET came from. That that same conversation that he had with us, he ultimately, I guess, uh, had with BET, and, and that's where that deal came from. Right. So. But it was funny, though, because he was very impressed with how we were able to get on everybody's site because he was looking for see what he was saying was he was going from site to site to yeah. try to figure out who who they should partner with right right but right. he kept seeing the logo yeah and, and then he finally decided to click the logo when he got to search online hip-hop yeah and he was like oh i should just meet with these guys right you know? s-o-h-h search online hip-hop that was the first I, we forgot to say that right. and so i just support can't... online hip-hop and then it was search online hip-hop. yeah it was both the whole idea was it was both and that was why it was so like s-o-h-h was so apropos now let's talk about I, I if I am if I, were you looking on like that what you what you looking like that for? what are we about to talk about what, what, what you think we about to talk about who came up with the name well a little bit I mean I just wanted to acknowledge that um, you know the idea of like doing oh my god a search engine plus uh, 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 the green ribbon, you know, the free speech online, the, the 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 icon. I think that was my idea. I'm pretty sure that's that's totally like something that I would think of. <laughs> you saying it was your idea? I'm not saying that it was not my idea, and I'm not saying it was your idea. But you know what? If you want to say it's your idea, oh, you trying to you trying to be nice in front of people? No, I'm just saying if you want to say it's your idea. I, I think you know what we always do is you'll you'll say something or you know, and it'll kind of pop an idea, a thought in my head, and then we'll stop going back and forth. So I guess there is no really no one person who came up with that idea. Listen, let me. Tell but you. I kind of feel like it would have been me that would have been like, oh, you know, look at them, they're doing this with free speech online. You came up with support online hip hop as we were walking from Essence to the PATH train station on 6th Avenue. We started 25 years ago Mm -hmm. um, something that we're meeting people now that remember us either from their high school years, their college years. Yeah. It's, um, it's so many generations. Like it's like had, two, at least two generations. Right. We've had children in this gen- in, during this time. Yep. Um, we've lost parents during this time. Yeah. Um, we've it's had been, a black president during this time. Yep. It, we had the dot com bust, the dot com boom. We yeah. had the Great Recession. Right. You know, we had Biggie and Pac's death. Right. You know, we've. I mean, just and guess what. Now we, we got COVID. Yeah, we and we still here. Lord Jesus. So so what we're gonna talk about, let's just tell everybody what we're doing. So in the next few episodes, 
we're going to be talking about the top 25 moments in uh, the last 25 years. Right. And we're going to bring in a couple of folks that we have met along the way um, and to talk about some of the biggest stories that we uh, we were a part of, that we broke, or that we covered, um, some, some real, you know, crazy behind the scenes stuff of the stuff that we dealt with in the music industry and people telling us to take stuff down and mm-hmm. people threatening to come and see us, you know, I ain't gonna say no names, we don't want no smoke, it's about being lovely, loving in 2020. You're too old for smoke. I ain't too old for nothing. Bring the smoke. I'm still from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. I'm just saying I got kids now. I ain't got time for all that. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't going to call nobody names. But you will get a sense of who these people are because we'll give enough hints for you to guess. Um, so, yeah, 25 moments. So we got some guests coming up. And, um, yeah. Are we giving away any prizes? We're not giving away any prizes. I don't know. We'll have to we see. Should. We should. Sh- when we come back the next time, I want us to have a prize. At the end of the day, right? They should like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you click that bell. Mm-hmm. And um, that's all we need them to do for right now. That's what I need you to do. For like right and now. subscribe. Like and subscribe. Okay, and then they might be a prize later. They, they will probably be a prize. You gonna come later. up with a prize? I'm gonna come up with a prize. Okay. You heard it from Stephen at so.com. That's his email. So if there is no prize, you can just email him. That's Stephen with a V. Do that. Thank you. Moving right along.